That was weird. I'm going to move this first. Oh, look at that. That one's not constrained either. I lost it. Alright, let's see. Uh, we need to figure out what the dimension of this circle is. Okay, the dimension is 7.7 .7 inches. 7.7. .7. Alright. Huh, I wonder what that other one was. I think it coincided with that. I'm going to undo. This couldn't have been exactly 7.7 .7 inches. Well. Let's do this again. Alright. So this one is... So I'm able to move this. Generally, you'll want to constrain the... at least one of the um, uh, sketch features so let's see, how do I do that? Horizontal, vertical. Okay. So how do I change it from horizontal to vertical? What was that? All right. I could just move it, I guess, right? I know I'm constrained along that path. Yeah, they're both the same center. I have no idea what this is. I think this is just a concentric. Yeah, I think this is a concentric. Yeah, there you go. It's a concentric um, constraint. So that's that makes sense. All right. So now how do I get this to constrain? There we go. I think you have to press it again. Huh. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Okay, I need another circle. So circles are just C. We can press the C keyboard shortcut. So now we've got two circles. I'm gonna turn this into perspective again. I don't know why I lost it. Okay. I want these two circles, the inside circle and the outside circle, to be about one inch apart. But I want it to also relate to this circle here. I want these two circles to be about a half inch. So this will be about midpoint between these two. So I'm just going to do a dimension between these two. This will be 0.5. And then I'm going to do a dimension between these two. This will be 1. Okay. Because these are going to be separating reels, reels have, it's like a reel for a film. It has these spokes. And I don't want these spokes to interfere, or this to interfere with those spokes, because it could stop the, the circular motion of the, of the reel. So it's going to be going, and I think in this direction here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this gradually slope into this area here because it's, the reels are going to be sitting on top of rods that are going through these holes. So if I drew a line from here to here, I could probably make this one tangential. So let's try that. I'm just going to make a line. Where's a line? A line right here. Okay, so L is line. So let me go ahead and use L. I'm going to do it from here to about here. So it'll be tangential from this point. So I'm going to do that first. Tangent here and here. So I have a tangent. Yeah, it's tan tangential from here. And I want it to sort of curve around here, so it's not such a, a sharp edge. So, 
probably have to use a another circle here. That's all right. Circle, I'll do a two point circle. So we got a tangent here. That's good. And we'll do another tangent over here. All right. So we could make this larger or smaller and it would I want the circle to start I want I want this line to be past the top of this circle here so it won't conflict so I could actually take this and bring it up about a little bit like that but I'm gonna keep it around this area in fact I could make this a half inch let's see Yeah, so it should meet perfectly in the center. So that works. Now I think I want to trim some stuff. What am I able to do here? Trim. So T is for trim. So let me go ahead and start trimming this here. I can trim. You know, I need to put another circle over here. So yeah. All right. Circle. I'm going to just have a tangent, so this is just automatically constrained. So let's trim it. T. See what I'm trimming here. That makes sense. Definitely want to trim that. Trim that. I'm probably going to want to trim this over here. This will definitely need to be trimmed. I'm going to keep this line. Well, do I really need it? I don't really need it, actually. And I probably don't need this line either. It's not going to affect anything. I could probably trim this line out right here. So I'm going to start trying to move things around to see if if it's broken or not. Yeah, you see, I can move this around. This is kind of interesting. And look at that. This one doesn't actually have a diameter that's constrained by any means. So let me control Z. Let me see if I can constrain this diameter to this point. So actually I'm gonna just do a dimension and make this diameter fixed. So now let's try to move it. Can't move it. That's good. Oh, you can, but it doesn't change that diameter. So what I'll probably do is have a fixed dimension between these two. Yeah, that's cool. That works. And I think I like that position. I could make it a little smaller, maybe two inches. Yeah, that might work. Okay. I might want to have this circle go a little bit farther out. So let me see if I can, I can't do that. That's not good. So I'm gonna, the, f the reason why I did this is because I don't have that constrained as a tangent. So let me constrain that. This stayed one inch here. I wonder why it doesn't have a, you know, I need to make these concentric. Yeah, there we go. That makes more sense. So I'm going to escape. I'm going to drag this around a little bit more. This is about where I want it. So when the reel moves around this way, this is not going to conflict it because it's um, the spokes will be around here. And this gradually goes up, so it, it's not going to um, interfere with the spokes. but this doesn't really matter that much because it's really it's coming out of this section here so I might be able to machine two of these one inside this area here so I can do that let me see if I can even figure out how to do that this one looks like there's a problem 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, I need to. I don't know why that one didn't maintain its. That was weird. I'm gonna move this first. Oh, look at that. That one's not constrained either. I lost it. So let's try making this one constrained first. Okay. I can't. Hmm. That is odd. I think it's because of the length of this. It doesn't allow that. And it's not concentric either. Let me make this concentric with that. So even though your your constraints are broken, this you know, you can still salvage what you're doing, and this is a good example of where I need to figure out how to do things. There we go. Now we need to get this one on there. Let me just try moving this a little bit. Oh, check that out. Why isn't this concentric? Control Z. Okay. Alright. So now let's try moving it and see what happens. Still? Oh, it's concentric, but it's it lost its half-inch dimension, so let's... Yeah, there we go. 0.5. Alright, that's that'll work. So now I can move this, and everything will be nice. So let's make that a coincident on this one. Alright, that's good. <laughs> 